My name is Efren Andalus. I go by the name Andalus the Artist, and I am a New York-based street artist. I am actually from Long Island, right? I'm originally from Queens, but I moved to Long Island at an early age. I've been spray painting since 2014. There weren't too many street artists doing what I do on Long Island, so especially in the Huntington area. Since I am from Queens, I had a different flair um, to me. It was more hip hop, more edgy. I had a business at that time, a storefront. I was doing clothing and branding, but I wasn't really doing a lot of street art. If I had a brand on the loose, uh, on the loose designs. So a transition from starting as a clothing store to then people coming in saying, hey, I have a landscaping company. Can you make a logo for me? And then I'm like, yeah, I could, of course. And then the guy, it went from that to like screen printing t-shirts for clients. And then they're like, hey, we also open a business. We need a website. Do you do that? And I didn't know how to do any of this stuff. Growing up, we're having a Latino father and mother. And my, my father was like, if anyone asks, you know how to do it. You figure it out. I figured out everything. The biggest influences in my life for my artwork would be my parents. My mother's Dominican and my father's Ecuadorian. I have videos of me when I was a little, little kid saying that I wanted to be a doctor and I wanted to be all this, which I didn't want, but I think your parents kind of try to instill that in you and say, hey, you should be a doctor or a lawyer. Even as a kid, I was always uh, coloring and coloring books and sketching and they supported me but they would always tell me especially my father like there's no money in art you know that right and in my head I was like if there's no money in art I'm gonna be the first person to make money from art that's alive every sketch that I created I was always kind of in like all that I did it and then it would inspire me to do another one and do another one I used to go by Big E in 2014 I was like ah that just I need to change if I'm gonna focus on art. I want people to know my Hispanic background, my Latin heritage. So I'm gonna go by my last name, Andaluz, which is from Spain, Andalusia. A lot of street artists, graffiti artists, and a lot of the guys that and females are Latino. You know, you look at some of the greatest street artists and a lot of them come from Latino backgrounds. I feel like we need more representation. Being Latino means being well-rounded. Being Latino is being the world, right? Because we're so mixed. You know, to me, they're, we're the best artists in the world. My Pokemon wall that I painted um, in Greenlawn, Huntington, Long Island, that was my first viral mural. And that was like the start of On The Loose, the artist. As soon as I signed my name at the end, On The Loose, you know, oh, this is, uh, 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 you know, Spanish last name, it's Hispanic Latino last name. So when you see the art, this is the artist, you know I'm Latino. I want a lot of other Latinos and Hispanics to look at it and say, wow, I can't believe someone that looks like me did this and created this. 